In this segment, we are going to talk about an economical alternative to see and control cameras in BVMS. So one of the benefits I see that BVMS has over a lot of the other different BMS products is that there are alternatives to having a workstation, a full-blown workstation and the costs associated with that, and also the security risk associated with that. Um, you can have a decoder and a keyboard and a monitor, and these can be easily located at a guard station, a front desk, remote control location. This gives an operator um, access to both live video, PTZ control, prepositions, all those camera functionality with some simple equipment that doesn't take a lot of space up and is a lot less expensive than the alternative, which would be a workstation. If your organization needs any assistance with any aspect of BVMS or your security systems, please contact your security system vendor or our professional services at support at midchess.com or visit our website at midchess.com. What we have on the table is a regular PC monitor, a Bosch VJD 3000 decoder, and a KBD digital keyboard. This equipment is what I would need along with a network connection to be able to view live video, do PTZ control, and in some cases I may want to do alarm call up to a, to a monitor full screen. This is an easy way to do that. This is great for use at a remote location where you just don't want to have the expense of a PC or you don't want the vulnerability of putting a PC. We were going to need to set up a user and a password for that user and give that user rights to specific cameras. With this, you do have the ability to limit a user's access to the devices in the system. If the keyboard and the monitor are located at a front lobby area and you just want the cameras from the exterior of the building associated with that entrance there, then we just give the user access to those cameras only via his username and password. So let's get started. We've set the BBMS system up the right way. So the first thing we're going to do is see that the keyboard is going to present itself and it wants to ask wh who, what the username is and what the user's password is. So I'm going to enter the username and the password that I set up and that gives me then a look to the keyboard. This gives the same type functionality that in the old days we got from when we had a matrix switcher associated with the keyboard. So it just gives us monitor number and camera number. So the users are going to have to have that information associated to the cameras that they have access to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to control monitor number 33, which in BVMS I set this monitor up on this decoder to be virtual monitor number 33. Once I have number 33 on the screen, it asks me for a camera number that I want to control. I simply have to enter the camera number and hit enter and you'll see that the video comes up. I can hit additional cameras and you'll see those videos come up as well. I can even have a PTZ camera and what you'll notice is a PTZ camera on the display actually says that this camera that's on the screen has access to PTZ control and using the joystick I can control PTZ functionality in, out, so on and so forth. So it's very simple to use and again one of the things one of the other things we can do is we can have alarms in BVMS call video automatically to this. So if there was a remote gate and somebody at a uh, intercom station pushed a button that camera could automatically come up on this monitor associated with a decoder and the keyboard. I could speak to that person and look at them at the same time and I could also control PTZs to make sure the area is safe before I open the gate or a door. So that basically covers the functionality of a simple decoder with a monitor and a keyboard as a less expensive way and a, maybe a safer way from a cybersecurity basis to control and view cameras on a monitor in BVMS. Thank you.